Retro Tech 100. Hello, welcome to Retro Tech 100. I've not made a video in a while because I've been a bit, well, lazy. But anyway, I ordered some stuff yesterday by the magic of Amazon. It's here. I ordered myself a Raspberry Pi 4. It was 57.50. I fancied having a Retro Pi build on the Pi 4. I've been holding off because there isn't an official build. But um, there's one that's good enough at the minute. I'm going to use the 64 gig Damaso build. But um, come next week, I'm going to try a different one actually. So I've got myself a Raspberry Pi 4. And I thought what we could do is put it in the case and see how it runs. But you're going to need more than a Raspberry Pi 4. You're going to need a micro HDMI to HDMI with lead. That's about four pounds. You're going to need a decent sized micro SD card. I've got a 128GB SanDisk one for £14. You're going to need something to put your Pi in. I've got this case, I think it was about £7. Pretty simple case, but quite attractive. Something just to start on to be TV. And then you're going to need a charger to charge the lot. I think that was about a fiver. So, you're talking about easy quid if you want to get a Pi 4 build from scratch. You might have some of these things lying about. You might not. Let's put the um, Pi 4 in its case. So that's the case assembled. I'll put the fan on. I'll put it on pins 2 and 3. So I'll positive on 2, negative on 3. Gives you 5 volts. It's as if it's a little bit noisy, you can move it to different pins. And it will give it 3.3 .3 volts. Uh, the case isn't too bad, really. You know, it's cheap and cheerful. But uh, it does the job. Now's the time to put an image on here. And then we'll give it a bash. And have a game. So here's the build. Um, it does have background audio, but I've had to, to save it for copyright reasons. It was Michael Jackson's song. Then we've got the Damaso 64 gig build anyway. Then we've got Arcade Classics, Atari 2600. You can see the amount of games that's written on the bottom, by the games there. Atari 7800, 60 games. Atari Lynx 85 games, Calico Vision 140. Dreamcast 14. Family Disk System, 144. Game Gear, down the bottom there, 248. Game Boy, 505. Game Boy Advance, 904. Game Boy Color, 452. Mars System, Genesis, Neo Geo, NES. PC Engine, Power. That's the Power. Um, in the options list, you've got quite a lot. We go start, got the usual. Settings, it's really like a, a really quite basic, even though there's some graphics, quite a basic version of um, a retro pipe because it's an early build. <coughs> so let's try again. Um, how about I make a CD game? I've not overclocked it, you can overclock it, it's not overclocked by default, but you can. We try and make a CD game or a Sega CD as it is here. Lords of Thunder. Aren't these bezels here, nice? Yes, you may, madam. I thought it was I was finding that quite annoying. I'd rather lose a bit of life, I think. You know, it's a little bit strong to put like that on this game. So as we can see that works, let's try another game, let's try something on the Dreamcast.
Such long intro. Shiori, fukaiya. Uh, the time will be a slow down, but uh, I know it's too late, but still, the Dreamcast thing is really good. I can't say I ever emulated the Dreamcast in the part 3, so I can't put any comment, but uh, it's quite impressive. It's very playable. I have to try a game that's a bit more taxing, like Power Stone. However, I've not overclocked this. Uh, I don't really want to overclock it without actually calling it and letting know I could use that case. So, uh, so cool, let's try another game. Here's Demon Front on main. Quite a fun game. Uh, I think these are a Chinese manufacturer of kind of like copy type games of uh, Neo Geo, but they had their own games and their own hardware. See how it looks a bit like um, you see how it looks a bit like Hell Slug. A lot like Metal Slug, really, if you think about it. You might do. Oh, 
So I've got to say, uh, it runs pretty great. It, the Raspberry Pi is getting quite hot, so you'll need some active cooling. And the official build's not up here yet. I'm sure some of these have quirks. This build's run quite nicely, but I'll be interested to see down the line how Saturn and also Dreamcast run at full speed. That would be great. I'm glad I got my Pi 4 now because I'm sure the Retro Pi official build is imminent. This has been Retro Tech 100. I'll see you next time.